Have you ever wondered what the Zika virus is and how it affects the human body? Let's venture into the realm of this microscopic invader. Originating from the Zika forest of Uganda, the virus was first isolated in the late 40s, but it has since spread to various parts of the world, causing global concern. This tiny culprit is primarily transmitted through the bite of an infected Aedes mosquito, the same kind that carries dengue and chikungunya. The Zika virus, however, has a unique trait. It can also spread from a pregnant woman to her unborn child, causing serious birth defects. Though most infected individuals exhibit mild symptoms like fever and rashes, the impact of this virus can be far-reaching, affecting societies and health systems alike. It's a mystery wrapped in scientific jargon and public fear, a puzzle that researchers worldwide are striving to solve. Now that we've set the stage, let's delve deeper into the nature of this virus. What does the Zika virus do to the human body, and how can you tell if you've been infected? These are questions that become vital when faced with an invisible enemy like the Zika virus. Let's start with the initial symptoms. Most people infected with the Zika virus won't have symptoms, or will only have mild ones. The most common symptoms include fever, rash, joint pain, or conjunctivitis, also known as pink eye. These symptoms can last for several days to a week after being bitten by an infected mosquito. Now here's the tricky part. These symptoms are similar to those of many other diseases making it quite challenging to identify a Zika infection just by looking at the symptoms. Now this is where it gets a bit scary. Zika infection during pregnancy can cause a birth defect of the brain called microcephaly and other severe brain defects. It is also linked to other problems such as miscarriage, stillbirth, and other birth defects. And the long-term effects? The truth is, they're still not entirely known. While the immediate symptoms of Zika are generally mild, the potential for long-term neurological problems in adults has been suggested in some studies. However, more research is needed to fully understand these potential effects. Let's talk about the incubation period. The incubation period is the time from exposure to the onset of symptoms. For Zika, this period is estimated to be from 3 to 14 days. But remember, many people infected with Zika won't show any symptoms at all. So how can you tell if you've been infected? The best way is through a blood or urine test. If you've recently traveled to an area with risk of Zika and have experienced any of the symptoms we've mentioned, it's recommended to get tested. Knowing the symptoms is half the battle, but what can you do to prevent Zika infection? This question brings us to the next part of our discussion, prevention. Because as we all know, prevention is always better than cure. How can you protect yourself and your loved ones from the Zika virus? As the old adage goes, prevention is better than cure. And when it comes to Zika, this couldn't be more true. But how do we prevent the spread of this invisible enemy? Personal protective measures are a great place to start. Wearing long sleeve shirts and long pants can help keep those pesky mosquitoes at bay. Using insect repellents recommended by environmental health authorities can provide an additional layer of protection. And let's not forget about safeguarding our homes. Regularly checking for and eliminating any potential mosquito breeding grounds like standing water in flower pots or buckets can significantly reduce the risk of infection. Then there's the community-wide strategies. Governments, health organizations, and communities can work together to implement measures such as mosquito control programs and public health awareness campaigns. These collective efforts play a crucial role in reducing the overall risk of Zika transmission. Importantly, early detection is key. If you or a loved one are experiencing symptoms such as fever, rash, joint pain, or red eyes, seek medical help immediately. Early diagnosis can lead to better management of symptoms and can help prevent further spread of the virus. So, yes, we can protect ourselves and our loved ones from the Zika virus. It takes a bit of effort, a bit of knowledge, and a bit of community spirit. But it's absolutely worth it. Remember, the best way to fight the Zika virus is to prevent it. So, what have we learned about the Zika virus? We've unraveled the mystery of this invisible enemy, revealing it as a disease transmitted primarily by mosquitoes. We've recognized its symptoms which include fever, rash, joint pain and conjunctivitis. Most importantly, we've understood that prevention is our best defense. Eliminating mosquito breeding grounds and wearing protective clothing can go a long way. Armed with this knowledge, you're now better equipped to protect yourself and others from the Zika virus. Knowledge is power after all.